Hi there, Leo. Let's see what is going on for all of you from an angelic perspective for March 2024. All right. What would you be dealing with? What's the story? What's the deal? Ace of Michael, baby. Okay, we're going to talk about it. Hold on. <laughs> Knight of Raphael. Seven of Michael. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. Queen of Michael. Wow, you guys are really stuck up in your head. And three of Gabriel. Because something comes at you that maybe you were not anticipating. You did not see it coming, but it's wonderful. And you're overthinking it a little bit. That's okay. That's okay. But it's a wish fulfillment. Let me get these cards in order. And then we are going to dive in to this beautiful story that you all have going on here. All right. So I'm going to stack these like this. I don't know if this is going to become our new thing or not. But, <laughs> but here we go. Okay. First out, you have Ace of Michael there. Now, Ace of Michael comes through. You're cutting through the nonsense. So something that is just ending here in February of 2024, although you can treat these as timeless, of course. You always just go back and pick and see if there's, um, pick a video and see if there's a message in there for you. But this is a wonderful new idea. Don't allow bumps in the road to hinder your progress. Clear up communication problems. Okay, and I got a little buzz in my ear uh, with others. That buzz in my ear is giving more confirmation. Part of clearing up these communication problems, now this is usually associated with taking charge, especially Michael. He cuts right through everything and he gets clarity. But for some of you, this clearing up communication issues has to do with you listening. Because someone's been telling you something for a very long time and you have not been listening. All right, so what does that look like then? Someone may come to you and it could be something like, oh my gosh, can't you see how much I love you? I love you, okay? I, I've been over here trying to prove that I love you and you just keep seeing me as a friend, right? <laughs> you know? For some of you, it's going to be that. Now, everyone, it's going to be different. If you do wanna work with me and we work on your situation, you can work with me by going to Angel Souls. 444.com. Those are my standard readings. If you want a live session, I won't always have availability for that, but you can reach out to me via email for live sessions. Standard readings go to the website. Email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com for live sessions or live courses. Courses I'm doing right now are learning how to connect with your angels one-on-one -on -one with me, uh, learning angel mediumship, and learning how to read angel oracle cards so angel souls 444 at gmail.com if you want to do a live session but i want to talk about this because here comes this thing and it feels it feels like march for you guys it's coming on strong so it's like you start it's like three four days in and there's a big communication coming in it's cutting through the nonsense because michael's coming in and saying a lot of you i mean obviously like i said before each of you is an individual but for many of you, you're blocking your own success because you tell yourself a false story. You're living in a false narrative. Michael comes in and wakes you up. Again, I'm not guaranteeing that that's going to be fun or pleasant. <laughs> uh, it could be, for some of you, it's a friend, a colleague, someone who just, maybe you've been complaining about something and you're in a loop. You know, when you're just trying to be heard and you're just trying to get this thing off your chest, basically, and you can't see the solution. Well, somebody comes in and says, will you stop talking about this? Don't you see that you have this person who cares and that person who cares? Or have you forgotten all of your accomplishments? How can you possibly sit there and say that you aren't in control of this situation? Of course you can do it. You see what I'm saying? So it comes at you abruptly and maybe kind of loudly, um, but it breaks things open for you. And I think you'll be very appreciative in the long run because this something that's happening in this month or some bit of communication is leading you to wish fulfillment, okay? This says, make a wish, dreams become reality, a joyful time of life. So maybe even if somebody kind of comes out of what you feel is left field and, and tells you something or you get some bit of information, there's some major communication coming in. For some of you, you might get that job 
It just depends on the individual. Okay. Or you might, I, I feel weirdly, it's like a love wish too. Something you've been wishing for, you get some bit of information that is important information <laughs> that aligns you energetically to the thing you've been trying to manifest. All right. But this is Raphael involved here. Raphael is all about healing. We know that. Um, but he's more than healing. He helps with soulmate connections. He helps with travel. I know most of us would not associate Raphael with travel. Obviously, you know, opening the heart space, you know, having your intu intuitive hits through the heart space. Okay. Then we have the seven of Michael. So all this is like setting up really nicely. Here comes the doubt. Okay. Seven of Michael. There is a better course of action available to you. Working alone may not be the best answer. Review all the details. Boy, if this isn't the card of why are you making things harder on yourself than you need to? Why do you keep going down the dark path? Or why do you keep going, hanging out, going around with people who make fun of you behind your back or who don't respect you or, you know, work situations where people are kind of ganging up on you. I don't know if some of you that's coming up and it's making you forget yourself. There is an element here hmm, where you just don't think the lighted path is for you or it seems like it's too easy so I can't trust it. Okay. That's where we get into this energy of Queen of Michael. And this says, brilliant, self-reliant, insightful, humorous. You know exactly what to do, meaning you can trust yourself on this. If you go down the path that seems to be opening up and it's all lit up for you, okay, you don't have to keep choosing to make things hard. You don't have to keep choosing the hard way. Again, this goes deep. This goes deep for a lot of you, and that's... That's my necklace about to fall off. <laughs> Fantastic. Okay, whatever. Um, <laughs> you know what to do. You know how far you've come. You know what kind of effort you have put into things. So why aren't you allowing a payoff? See what I'm saying? So this says, again, you know exactly what to do. The benefit of experience, a time for your career rather than relationships. Again, there seems like there's a lot of thinking going into this. And there's something here about perception. How will I be perceived if I go down that road? Some of you who are watching this, obviously you're probably a very spiritual person or you wouldn't be interested in a video like this, but some of you definitely don't want to be seen as someone who's ungrounded, who isn't doing critical thinking, and it's almost like you're overdoing it this month. So much so that you're kind of denying, you know, the you could be intuitive and thoughtful at the same time, but you're kind of denying that part of yourself and trying to prove yourself. There's a bit of that going on. And the way you're going about it, in a way, is just making things worse. Okay, again, it's going down the the unlighted path, maybe not dark as we would say dark, but uh, the path that makes things ev every bit harder, <laughs> right, that it needs to be. Then we get into this three of Gabriel. So here's, here's how I'm seeing you guys. You're coming into this month. There's something here in February that has had to come to a close. Maybe have you kind of not trusting the universe, right? It, it could be this kind of thing of like the universe is always supposed to have my back, but I don't have enough money to cover my bills. So the universe is supposed to always have my back, but I just ended up in this really toxic situation with someone. Okay, so you're working through that here at the end of February. Yeah. And then when things start to open up for you, boy, are you intellectually examining it. Can I trust it? Uh, can I trust myself in the, within that situation? The answer is yes. As a matter of fact, you'll find yourself by going through this process and opening yourself up to receive. That's the nine of Raphael. But the three of Gabriel is here and it says prosperity arising from wise planning. Time to take the next step. Optimistic plans that turn out as expected. You are completely going through the motions of research and 
I got to make sure this place is on the up and up, or I got to make sure that this person is on the up and up. First of all, there's a lot of things coming through for various people. Did I say this already? If you want to work with me, angelsouls444.com. If I didn't, <laughs> there you go. Um, because each person is different. But this Ace of Michael, it's making me feel like you suddenly, you have a breakthrough in your insight. Okay? You suddenly see something for what it is, for good or for bad. This can also be, I, I mean, <laughs> um, when you stop hiding behind problems, when you stop seeing uh, problems as having all the power in the world over you, right? It's that kind of thing of like, gosh, I wish I could buy a house, but the economy, the economy, and you're not wrong, right? I mean, yeah, it's very, for some people, it's very difficult to uh, buy a house right now. But this is the kind of thing where your energy actually disconnects from manifesting that because somewhere in your intellect, you're telling yourself this is impossible. That's what you're learning here this month. To, yes, it's, you know, give it some intellectual energy, but don't miss a good thing when it's happening for you. For some of you, this could be a job offer. A job offer that might have to do with, think very Aquarian things. <laughs> okay, anything, anything that popped into your mind around that AI, okay, it might be something around that. Uh, Michael rules the tech field. He rules the tech field. He also watches over police officers, EMS, firefighters, lawyers. Okay. So if you're having some sort of technical thing that you're having to get through, Michael is showing up in a big way to help you get through that. More than anything, and this is why I keep smiling and I keep stopping and I'm feeling like overall, this is the month that you get over some bit of intimidation. You face it. You face it. It might have been you getting ready to walk away from an opportunity because you say, well, I'm not quite in this mode yet. I'm not an expert at that. Take it anyway. If you research it and it's not a scam, obviously, <laughs> don't want to get scammed. Um, but if it seems like it's legit and they see potential in you, <coughs> pardon me um sorry <laughs> they see potential in you if they're if if like an employer is willing to take a chance on you go ahead and go in there just make sure you pay attention to the things that the job is going to require of you so you can go off and learn that okay don't try to go down a path where you've already completed out all those lessons that's the seven of michael here okay or being underhanded, right? Don't be underhanded. Be honest. Okay, maybe if, if someone is offering you a new position and you don't 100% know it, you might say, well, you know, I'm going to be in the process of learning that, I guess. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> but but don't, don't try anything sneaky. Be honest. Michael is about clarity and honesty. But more than anything, being honest with yourself. I can do this. I can go down that road. I can figure this out. I don't need to sit back and put so much energy into worrying about it when that energy could be directed into finding the solution. Okay? So, angelsouls444.com if you want to work with me. Thank you all so much for being here. I am sending you so much love and take care.